So it's Friday the 3rd of December, filming for Animated Science, and I'm looking at electricity modelling. What I've got here with my Molly mod that I've just blue tacked onto this board um, is effectively a, a piece of resistance material. Okay, so it's really simple. I've got some little marks there to show that they are moving about, they are vibrating about a fixed point, and um, that's showing that they've got some energy. Whereas here, this is the same material, but now it's got loads more energy, which is why I've got the extra marks, and these atoms are like moving about with it. They're still vibrating about a fixed point, but they're constantly moving. Now I also have some marbles, okay? These are in my little pot of lost marbles. So, very simple idea. My marbles are gonna show the electrons, okay? And they are at an angle, these boards, and the angle is to show the potential difference. So if you think the higher the angle would be, the bigger the potential difference. So at the moment, these have both got a potential difference of the same amount. So let's see what happens. Really simple. So okay, very quick, straight through. However, this one, these take a lot longer. So the idea is, is this shows that as a metal wire gets hotter, the resistance goes up. Let's show it again. So clearly, when the atoms get in the way, the resistance goes up. And so what we're thinking of is, is as the little marble comes down, it hits and it gives up some of its kinetic energy to this atom as it goes on its little journey. But it's much easier to pass through when they're not vibrating so much. Whereas this one comes down, gives up some kinetic energy, gives up more kinetic energy, and the wire's getting hotter and the resistance goes up. So there we go, resistance modeling using Molly Mod. So it's not just for chemistry, it's for physics. And the other idea, which we could just quickly look at, I'm gonna take these away. We could look at the idea of potential difference. So potential difference is the idea that, of course, if I drop my marble again, it goes to the bottom. If I change my height, so it's lower, it takes it a longer time. So the higher the potential difference is, the more the current is. Simple as that. So there's two models there to look at. Height, i.e. potential difference, gravitational potential difference. Works out, doesn't it? Gravitational potential difference. Or we can look at how these atoms move about in a lattice. So there you go. Bit of electricity modeling. Friday physics fun.